Hello and welcome to our Edelpaper video tutorial. In this video, we want to show you how easy it is to transform your static PDF files into an interactive online flipbook. Furthermore, we will demonstrate the simple customization of your Edelpaper player and the convenient integration of multimedia elements. Simply, everything you need to create outstanding and exciting online flipbooks. Let's get started. First, log into your Edelpaper workspace. In the main area, you can see that we've already uploaded one document. Simply add a new document by clicking one of those two buttons. Select or simply drag and drop a file here. Enter a title and select the player version of your choice. You could choose between player version 4, which is HTML5, or version 3, which is Flash. You can purchase additional permalinks anytime. Just click on the button next to permalinks. Click on table of contents to structure your document by giving each page a specific title. Simply enter a title and a short description. In case your uploaded PDF file contains a table of contents, you can easily import it by clicking create from PDF. Make sure you don't forget to save your changes. Next, click on Import Settings. Here you can import an XML file in case you just want to replace several settings and media elements. Open the settings. In the tab General, you can change the player version anytime. Choose between version 4, without Flash, this is our new HTML5 player, or version 3, which is the Flash-based player. On the right-hand side, you can always check on which player version you are currently using. We are using the new player version 4. Furthermore, you can change the title of your Edel paper and the language of the player. You can choose between English, German and French. Next, go to menu bar settings. If PDF download is enabled, you can here enter a title for the downloaded file. Moreover, you can either enable or disable functions like full screen, standard view, the search field, the PDF download function, the display of your table of contents and the share function for social networks. In the tab Expert settings, you can enable or disable page shadows. If you want to analyze the success of your Edel paper, you can enter a tracking code from Google Analytics for example. Click the Appearance tab to upload your own logo and background image. Please pay attention to comply the respective dimensions. In case you don't want to adjust these settings again for every Edel paper you create, you can save them as default. This way they will be used for every new document. Again, make sure you hit the save button. Now the fun starts. Go to Enrich Document. As you can see there is a page overview on top. Thereby you can fast and easily switch between the pages you want to enrich with multimedia elements. First we want to add a link to our Edelpepper logo. So we simply click on Add Media Element and then Add Link. Now you will see a blue media box. Click the middle of the box to position it. Click the edges of the frame to resize the media box. Enter the address of the website you want to link to and choose whether the website should be opened in the same or a new tab. Additionally, you can choose an icon. Enter a title and a short description if you like to. Last but not least, choose a layout. In this tutorial, we decided for media box and frame. The same procedure goes for links within your flipbook, the so-called internal links. Use internal links to conveniently navigate your readers through your document. Save your changes if you're done. Let's add a video to our flipbook. Select the respective page you want to edit and click on Add Media Element again. Then choose Add Video. Position the media box and use the edges of the frame to adjust the size. Now you need to copy the address of your video. You can embed videos from YouTube, Vimeo or your own server. Choose an icon if you like to. We want our video to immediately start when a reader is viewing the respective page. 
Therefore, we simply select Auto Start. Enter a title and a short description to give your readers an impression of what you are showing in your video. Again, we chose Media Box and Frame, but feel free to try out the various adjustments. Save your changes and you are done. If your document is already published, you will need to publish it again to apply the changes. Select the permalink containing your flipbook and simply overwrite it. If you want to show your document on your website, use our embed function. Just copy and paste the code to embed it on your website. Choose a format. Your flipbook can be shown as an image, an animation or just as a simple link. If you want your document to start on a particular page, simply enter it. Now let's have a look at what we've created. Open your permalink. As you can see, our multimedia elements have been applied. If we click on the media box on our Edelpaper logo, we will be forwarded to our website. Thanks to our internal links, we can easily jump to the pages of our interest. Our video is definitely an eye-catcher as we can watch it right in the document. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming Edelpaper video tutorials.